down dog update today I'm really excited I traveled to Pittsburgh Pennsylvania where I just took a yoga class with Ashley Green at Bend Yoga Studio right downtown Pittsburgh and it was just an amazing workout it made me sweat and then at the end of class I was super relaxed and she even used essential oils and it was just a really awesome noon time class and she also just told me that she is doing some acro yoga classes here at the studio as well. That's pretty exciting. I have tried a little bit of that at some of the yoga festivals like Wanderlust and mm -hmm. that kind of thing, but it always seems to be like a fun activity. Is, is that going well and when have you started that here? Uh, yeah, we just started it at the beginning of January and it's weekly on Sundays at 2 p.m. And all levels are welcome, beginners are encouraged. So we're trying to include everyone. It's really fun. Neat. And did you get a yoga, an acro yoga training certificate? Or what's your experience with acro yoga so far? Um, well, I've been doing acrobatics for about four years. Okay. And I learned acrobatics through a circus performer, my close friend, David Doyle. Okay. So um, I've been mostly trained by circus acrobats. Oh, OK. So you bring an interesting new kind of twist to it, I'm sure. <laughs> a little bit different maybe than the normal yoga acro that we might have tried before. Right, yeah, there's, um, I bring the yoga element into it from my yoga training mm -hmm. and the circus acrobat element into it from my circus friends. Yeah. So the terminology might be slightly different than, say, an acro yoga class, right. um, but a lot of similar material. Neat. So if you are in the Pittsburgh area, definitely sounds like a good class to check out. It seems like it might be a lot of fun. <laughs> One of the things that I read in your bio actually on the Bend Yoga website is that you went to Hawaii and you did some yoga there. Yeah, in um, 2010 and early 2011, I lived on an eco village in Hawaii, on the big island of Hawaii in mm -hmm. the Puna district where the lava is flowing currently. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I used to teach. They had a, a few different rooms. It was a place where artists and musicians lived together and they worked together to cook meals and to um, host weekly potlucks for the community, um, to have a garden together. There was a recording studio and there was also a yoga studio there. Mm -hmm. So on the weekends, uh, or actually during the week when we were doing our weekly potluck, I would host a class and anyone that was interested could come and it was a donation-based class. That's very neat. And you said it was some kind of an eco co-op type thing that you were yeah. part of? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were about, it was rotating residents, but some of them were permanent residents and we had a small indoor-outdoor building and then some campsites around mm -hmm. the main building. That's amazing. I'm sure some of us are wondering, I know I am personally, how did you find out about that and even make the move out to Hawaii? I'm sure for those people who might be interested in going to somewhere tropical and teach yoga, it sounds like a dream come true for some of us. <laughs> well, it sort of just happened. Um, I didn't really plan it like that. Mm -hmm. I was living in Seattle uh, working for a magazine called Yes Magazine. Okay. And after that temporary position was over, I had a little extra money and I decided to go to Hawaii because it was a cheap plane ticket, a cheap one-way plane ticket. Mm -hmm. And so I got involved um, in some farming there through Woofing, okay. which is Worldwide Opportunities on Organic Farms. Mm. And Pele Aina was where I ended up staying um, and doing some of my yoga teaching. Yeah, wow, that's amazing. What would be something that you would tell people who say maybe they're in the swing of things with their job and they're just not happy with it or they're just doing some yoga classes in their hometown and they want to go explore and share with some people in a different part of the country or world, what would you suggest to them if they're kind of thinking what you did was something that they might be interested in doing too? Um, well, I would definitely recommend checking out Woofing, so the website for Woofing, mm -hmm. uh, www.woof.org. Okay. Um, there's 
endless farms around the world that host travelers, um, sometimes for free in exchange for work, mm -hmm. you get a place to live and okay. food to eat, um, sometimes you have to pay, um, and sometimes they pay you. So it takes a lot of research at this point because it's a pretty big program now mm -hmm. um, to really find the farm that's appropriate for you, but I'm sure there are yoga farms and retreat centers around the world, yeah. definitely in Hawaii. Okay, wow, that's just so interesting. And so now you're in Pittsburgh, and do you, how did you end up in Pittsburgh, and do you have some things going on here right now? Um, yes, well, I teach around the city. I'm originally from the Pittsburgh area, so um, I'm back here exploring the yoga community. There's a lot of exciting new things happening in the yoga community here. Um, my teacher just uh, became the owner of a studio in the area, so I'm helping her with that. And um, teaching acro yoga, trying to get the acro community up and running in the city. Yeah, well that's very interesting. And for anyone that wants to maybe reach out to you and ask you some questions about your experiences, would that be okay? We can maybe give them your website. I think you have a website, right? Um, yeah, well, sure my Facebook page, oh, okay. Ashley, A-S-H-L-E-E, -E, Green connect, yeah. Yoga <laughs> is um, my Facebook page. And my email, if you have any questions, you can send them to me at ashleygreenyoga at gmail.com. All right, cool. Well, thank you so much, Ashley. I really appreciate you taking the time to share that information with us. Everyone's experiences are so interesting. And I mean, I feel like it would be really cool to go to Hawaii and do those things that you did, it seems like. Do you feel that it's helped you or ch changed you in any way or any opened your eyes or enlightened you or anything like that? <laughs> I would say primarily it grounded me. Okay. A lot. <laughs> Well, that's always good. I think every experience is one that you learn from. So that's amazing. Totally. Well, thanks so much. It was great talking to you. Thanks, Jessica. Yep. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Namaste. Namaste. Every day. <laughs>